Alright, so uh, just guess got the uh, hill pump Mark IV delivered. Here I have a hill pump Mark III. So this is mine, this is actually uh, someone else's. Well, I got this for someone else. But I see, I'm gonna look at this. I'm actually gonna pump the two and see which one pumps better. Uh, the one that pumps better, I'm keeping. <laughs> So uh, this thing got from Pyramid Air. The funny thing about Pyramid Air and the price is that you got two versions of this pump when you buy it. You have a version that <clears throat> has the, uh, <clears throat> the, the water um, absorber, uh, you know, the, the, the silica, and one without it. And the one without it you know, it's it's a lot cheaper. It's like a hundred bucks cheaper, and you can buy this silica uh, pizza here um, for uh, for only fifty dollars more than you know more than uh, you know th this piece is basically fifty bucks. So you buy the pump separately and this piece separately. It's fifty dollars cheaper than buying this whole whole thing uh, together. So that's what I did. Uh, I bought, you know, I bought the, the, the piece separately. Um, so basically, that just means you have to put it together yourself, and there's no problem that in that at all. Uh, so yeah, so this is the Mark IV version. So the base here is plastic, based on the uh, the original, or well, not the original, but the uh, the Mark III. The Mark III over here. The base of the Mark III is is metal. But obviously, this one's a lot. You know, it's bigger. Um, the difference here is that this part here is different as well, as you see it. This is a piece of extruded aluminum here, it looks like. Extruded aluminum. And they drilled right across here and there and there. So it's probably easier and cheaper to make, I think, than, uh, than, the, than the older version, probably, than this piece, maybe. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. I, I'm thinking they changed that design because it's probably cheaper to make. Uh, let's see. So let's put it together and take this off. This thing is plastic. Slide it all the way off. Slide this one on. Space on. Yeah. Like so. And slide the plastic piece that you that I had just taken off. Uh, slid off and slide this back on. Screw this back on. So this thing is. So remember this piece here is plastic, so I don't think you need to put much pressure on it. I'm just gonna do that only, hand tighten. I mean, I guess you could get a little wrench in and tighten it some more, but I'm just gonna hand tighten it for now. Maybe later I, I will uh, get a wrench in uh, and tighten it up. So the pump also comes with some silicone grease. Remember this is a high pressure pump. It pumps up to, uh, you know, about 4,000 PSI. High pressure pump, when you get up to that much PSI, you cannot use regular grease or regular oil because those regular grease and oil, they're flammable under compression. You know, as, as the, the, the pressure goes up, those, those grease and oil will actually ignite on itself from the, from the build of the pressure, you know, from the compression. So you have to use silicone grease or silicone oil. So uh, I'm going to grease up the, the O-rings right here before I slide the uh, this piece on. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have used a, a open one already. I have some open grease somewhere. Or actually, another way you could do is just grease up the inside on this side. It'll probably be easier. Okay, 
zip on the inside of this. And this knee punch. That's probably good. Doesn't really need much. Slide up on the top. All right, slide up on the top. And then you just slip right in. And that's it. It's on. Good there. And the top here, you need to screw the top on. Or the handle, I should say. handle this little allen wrench here and here I think this is a six a six millimeter I believe Let's see. yep that's a six millimeter so the hill pump this hill pump is basically for the most part it's the best pump on the market as far as I know uh, you know hand pump best hand pump on the market Tiny, my old one too one tends to loosen as well. Um, right, that. And the last thing you do is basically here. I'm actually gonna try to dab just a tiny bit of grease on the thread. Oh, thing is squirting out. Jeez, that's a lot of grease right there. Let me uh, have all this extra grease that kind of went out the tube, let me uh, find some spot to kind of put put it in. I'm gonna put some more in, in here. Oh dang it, there we screw that head on. Let me just coat this just to get rid of that grease. I should have closed that, I should have closed that, uh, that tube. It doesn't come out anymore. Let me, let me put the cap on the tube here real fast. And the rest of the things keep on squirting out. Okay. Things are greasy. Alright, slide that back in there. Alright. Oops, got to use the threads here a little bit. Alright, that's okay. It should be fine. It should be fine. So here, this thing actually has an O-ring in it on this side. So this is the uh She's kind of it's as smooth as she, spinning is as smooth as it should. I'm just going to backwards to seat that thread. Okay, find the seat. See, that's interesting. Usually, when you, when you have a machine thread, if you spin counterclockwise, the thread will seat against itself, against each other, I should say. Then that's when that's your cue to uh, to know that the oh, there it goes. That's when you know that the, the thread is is aligned, and you could uh, then you could screw it on. Um, that way, you don't cross thread. 
you don't crush thread uh, the uh, you don't crush thread the uh, the threads. Oh shoot, this one's too big. I don't have a wrench for that. I am, I am. So this one here is 14 millimeters. So that's the uh, line that it comes with on my Mark III. It come, it actually Mark my Mark III. I have a, I have an aftermarket line here, and the reason why I got this one is because it's it, it's um, the length is a little bit longer, uh, but also it has this uh, strain relief at the ends because you know usually a, a hose where it connects that's where it usually fails. So it has a strain relief, and the, and the thing that's most important I think since it's a hand pump is that it's a smaller tube diameter to the bigger one so when you pump this up while you initially pump it up uh the the line has to pressurize first before it goes into the into the gun or into the you know into the gun right so with a bigger line bigger id it takes longer to fill this up than it does to this take this so you know the extra few strokes saves a little bit of time but also saves you some uh, some some grunt work right so anyways uh that's about it oh i need to fill up this uh fill up this thing so when you buy this this thing's 50 bucks and the, the I can't remember if it came with a dry pack or not I think it did uh, well actually they gave me two dry packs well, I think I ordered an extra one but whatever the case uh, dry pack uh, the two dry packs uh, no yeah, once you fill this up the way to fill it up is you actually Hold this, there's two uh, two spots to grip right here and right here. Hold the bottom one where the black piece is. So that's the one where, where it comes off from. As a, this whole piece will come off as, as one piece. Right, like so. Then between these two, you can actually unscrew that. And you could actually fill up, you know, fill up your stuff. And fill it up so that it's level right here. And you, as you fill it up, what I, I like to do is I like take something and just kind of tap at it so that, that way the, the, the silicate um, balls will settle down and, 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 and be more uh, uh, compacted in here. And once this is level, uh, you know, you can take, take a straight edge and just level this off. Uh, then you get your cap and put it back on and put this back on. So I'm going to do that off camera. Um, yeah, so... So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do a different video on uh, comparing these two. You know, as far as pumping, you know, pumping them up and uh, see how how they uh, how they feel, uh, which one's easier, which one's harder. And like I said, I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the one that's that's easy to pump up, and the harder one is the one I'm gonna you know give it to to the to the person that I'm gonna give this to. All right, so that's it, the hill pump. Oh, so the hill pump comes with uh, with a just a regular whatever thread this is. So depending on what what gun you have, you know, if you have a say a the quick, the, I think it's they call it the Foster Quick Release, uh, similar to an air air compressor connect, connector, right? So you screw that on, so you can have that, or you could screw the other type on where where you just slide it in, whichever you know whichever type of gun you have. Uh, since I have both one that uses the foster and the kind of slide in I uh, I usually leave, leave this quick release on here and uh, I have the adapter that actually slides into this that slides into the gun so let's see I think that's about it so this thing's bleed this thing's bleed it's on the back oh that's nice nice bigger knob that's cool I like that um, so yeah so those are the two and I'll compare do a comparison video uh, in another video. Thanks for watching.